Hi, my name is Mike Brzezik. I'm the CTO and co-founder of Flow Commerce. At Flow, we help brands expand internationally, building great local experiences for their customers wherever they are in the world. We are an enterprise SaaS platform that provides data to brands to help them with everything from localization, global tax and duty, local payment processing, and logistics, both outbound and reverse. So a lot of people ask us how we do software development at Flow. Uh, there are a few elements that are pretty, pretty unique, but foundationally, this is an engineering-driven culture where engineers are responsible full stack for product development, operations, and support post-production. What that means is that every piece of software that gets written here, when it's merged, it deploys directly to production. We wanted to invest in how we build very high quality software efficiently. Along that journey, we've done a few things that uh, honestly some people think are crazy. One of those is that we standardize on a single production environment. We don't have QA environments. We don't have staging environments. We don't have test environments. We have local development on laptops and we have production. And we've invested significantly in tooling to make sure that it's safe to merge a pull request and have it delivered to production. We removed a separate DBA group as an example to measure performance of an application. All of that responsibility is on the author of the source code. And that real-time feedback was critical because it means that if we do make a mistake, we can often react and almost always have reacted before that mistake becomes an actual production issue that affects our customers and therefore affects the integrity of the product that we offer. So as an example, when an engineer sat down for the first time with Vivid Cortex, they immediately saw information and immediately came away with anywhere from a few to a half dozen to a dozen improvements that they can make in their, in their application to optimize their use of Postgres RDS. That's hugely powerful. The key criteria as we evaluated all the different products for performance monitoring was how quickly could a new engineer understand and use the data that was provided by the tool. And in, among other things, but in that area, Vivid was second to none where a engineer could immediately look at the data and take action and understand what they were doing. He took these charts from Vivid, went into the application, made a few changes to the core libraries and how they consume batches of events and process those, deployed them, and the instant the deploy changed, he confirmed exactly what he anticipated would happen to the charts. We then measured and could see the similar 10x increase in some of the core business metrics. As we were evaluating the different products, of course, one of the other components we looked at was cost of ownership. We actually looked at it holistically across all of, you know, what is the engineering expense at the end of the day going to look like in terms of total cost of ownership of a product that provides the data that we need. And when we did that analysis, actually Vivid came out ahead. And more than that, the product just works. And so thinking through all the times that we've had to reach out to support because of a bug or an underlying issue, it turns out that actually it's very, very rare and be hard pressed to even identify a single problem that we've ran into through implementation. And I think that speaks volumes to the quality of engineering behind the product.